from violence, even to the pornography stuff in the uh, uh, online. Now I say that out loud because I know that you guys are aware of that, and it's influencing you. So when you see stuff like that, it triggers emotions and things inside of us. All right, and a lot of times we feel shame. We don't talk about it, and so we just continue to move through life. And again, I'm not going to tell anybody what I just saw. I'll just continue to do what I'm doing. And I want you to understand that if you have seen those things or you have experienced some extreme things, extreme things online on your phone, you're not alone. Hi there, my name is Garrett Fitch. I'm here at Iron Horse Middle School up in Northern California. Uh, we just had our Novus Project assembly with our middle schoolers, uh, and it was just awesome to see these kids hear the true message of what social media and technology is doing to us. Um, and, and I do like that they talk about how it's not a bad thing to be on your phone, not a bad thing for computers to be in your life, but how we use them uh, is that thing that we need to make sure we're accountable to. Uh, they have an awesome backwards bike. Our kids got to try and ride for some cash, and no one was able to do it, which was great. Um, and we, uh, we got to see a magician. So we're excited for what the Novus Project is doing. Uh, we had a parent night last night, and our parents were excited for the message they received. My suggestion, though, is that we don't throw our kids into every aspect of social media, where they have a, a Twitter, a Snapchat, a, a Instagram, a Facebook, it's all of the above. I would say if you're gonna introduce your kids to a social media, pick one. And we stick with one, and we monitor it really well and we engage it, and you're one of their friends. So I encourage you to check out the website, check out the parent uh, info, uh, and if you have information you want for assemblies, you can contact them, they're easy to work with. Uh, James and his crew did a fantastic job, so we're just very grateful for them and uh, thankful for the Novus Project coming to our school. Another really valuable nugget that Novus brings to it is how important it is to talk to our teens about what they are experiencing, about what they are seeing, what they are hearing, uh, on social media from others, you know, to normalize those conversations. Sometimes we need to be prepared that kids don't want to talk about it, but the more we do, uh, they will be trained and it will be just part of their, kind of their habits to come to the adults when things happen so that we can help walk them through that. So thank you, Novus Project, great job. So I'm a high school counselor and one of the things that we see in our office the most is stress and anxiety, depression that's related to kids feeling detached from their lives and personally speaking and just in my professional opinion, a lot of that's directly related to social media and how much time kids are spending on it, um, the things that they don't know about it, what they're filling their minds with and how much time they're, they're utilizing those avenues um, in technology rather than having actual conversations with people, um, seeing things that, that they see are these perfect lives out there on social media and then therefore making judgments about themselves and it's causing an incredibly huge identity crisis amongst our adolescents. So Novus Project is one of the most amazing programs that comes into the school and actually addresses these issues in a really fun, relevant, and caring way to help kind of lead us back to something more human and I loving watching all of this.